the 75 kilogram middleweight division and making his way to the red corner is Vlad Gavriluk. Well, that's not Mr. Stidali. <laughs> He's in the ring already, awaiting the arrival of this man. The arrival of this man, and that is Vlad Gavriluk of Moldova. His opponent is from Kazakhstan, Nurkanat Rais, will be making his way to the blue corner. Well, there is Mr. Makratari Sidali of Algeria. He's the official taking charge of this one. We're in the 75 kilogram middleweight division, and this contest is between boxers from Moldova and Kazakhstan. The southpaw wearing red is Vlad Gavriluk, 22 years of age, and his opponent, out of the orthodox stance, wearing blue is Nurkanat Rais, 21 years old. First world championship appearance at the senior level for both of these boxers. Second bout of the tournament for the man in blue, having prevailed on a unanimous points decision as he gets through with a left hand there over Stefan Sa Sa Savkovic of Montenegro, where he demonstrated a beautiful left jab Right cross and left hook. Tries a whipping bolo shot to the body. To try and catch his taller opponent. And there's a straight right hand driven into the sternum of his opponent. And look how disruptive that jab is. Jolting back the head of Gavri Luke. Right hand to the body is a scoring shot once again. And Gavri Luke would do well to get himself out of that corner where he was driven back to by the pressure and presence of his opponent. First bout of the tournament for Gavri Luke here on the sixth day of the championships. Having received a bite in the first preliminary round. We're in a round of 32, 46 boxes making up the 75 kilogram middleweight bracket. So this is the second preliminary round of action. Well, he's constantly over that front foot as Gabriel Luke goes looking for that southpaw left. But look at the effectiveness of the work to the body from Rais. Often straight. And continuing to drive them in as the men are fencing with the lead hands. And there's the same shot right on cue, driven to the top of the man's abs. That could be around the solar plexus area. And Rais, well, he's going from corner to corner almost because of the pressure being applied by the Kazakh boxer. And if he keeps on absorbing body shots like the ones he's been taking, well, he may not be able to move. If we get into the third and final round. Good right hand over the top from Rais as Gavri Luke was looking for his own shot. Burst of punches to the body again, an uppercut through the middle. This has been a very good display from Rais. Jab to the body once more. He's worked that. There's a southpaw left, a solid straight cross from Gavri Luke to conclude the round. But Rais was dominant over the course of that first three minutes. So, a unanimous sweep of the cards in favor of Rais. 10-9 for all five scoring judges. So 
some of the action from that first round. Body shots were notable from Raiz. And Gavriluk spent an awful lot of time in and around the corners. Can he do something different to turn things in his favor? We go into the second round. Nurkanat Raiz, national championship silver medalist last year. Took a bronze in the youth championships in 2018. Of course, very difficult to make it onto the podium in the Kazakhstan national championship, such as this, the strength in depth in the Asian nation. Vlad Gavriluk, the sixth time national champion, taking six consecutive titles between 2011 and 2016. There's another southpaw left from Gavriluk. He's the reigning silver medalist at senior level, but between the schoolboy and youth level in between 2011 and 2016, national titles all the way, schoolboy, junior, and youth. Still only 21, remember, making a transition through to the senior ranks. Good right hand again after the first few shots were almost range finders from Raiz. Right hand was just long from Raiz, but again, Gavri Luke spending far too much time in and near the corners. Just nowhere for him to escape to when he's got the corner post behind him, ropes on one side, ropes on the other. And Raiz in front of him. Now he's in the space of the ring. But not really able to get his hands free and establish his range. He did score with a good southpaw left, at the end of the first round. There he looks for the same shot once again. But he's cutting a very composed figure, is Raiz. And again, Gavalut going backwards, almost in a straight line. He takes another left right to the body, and once more, he's in the corner. This time, it's his own corner. He tries to fight his way out of there behind straight punches. And then on the inside, it's Raiz, who's the man who's look, taking the opportunity to work away. Shoe shine shots followed by another shot to the body. Reverse one two was off the mark from Gavri Luke. And again, even on the inside, it's Raiz who is the busier of the boxers. So Gavri Luke, as he gets through with the southpaw left during that cluster of shots, but he's been outscored significantly once again as another straight right scores for Raiz. Southpaw left is off the mark. Gavri Luke up on his toes. And he's got that left hand cocked, looking to score with it. He turned it into a body shot, whipped it into the torso of his opponent. Two rounds in the book, both of them bossed by the man who has just pounded his gloves together, Nurkanat Raiz of Kazakhstan in the blue corner. Well, the judge from the United States of America scoring that second round for Gavri Luke, but a 4-1 split in favor of Nurkanat Raiz. He's in a commanding position, leading 20 points to 18 for four of the five scoring judges. Judge two scoring the round, the second round for Gavri Luke. Uh, so on the card of that judge, it is all square, 19 points apiece. So as we go into the third and final round, the southpaw wearing red. Vlad Gavriluk needs a massive final three minutes here. He's conceded the first two rounds, the first unanimously, the second on a 4-1 split. Shapes up nicely, it showed some good shot selection. But for the most part, he's been too passive, and you have to credit the presence and the pressure being applied by the front foot fighter in blue because he's kept the man on or near the ropes for the majority of the contest. 
And sometimes when Gavriel Luke does let his own hands go, he's countered as he was there by that right hand over the top. Scored with the occasional straight shot, particularly the southpaw left, Gavriel Luke. But Raiz's pressure, perhaps his punching power as well, has seen the taller southpaw in red reluctant to let his hands go after he runs into a two-shot combination there. He's keen to initiate a clinch. Raiz working him to the body once again. And his exertion's audible from here at ringside, growling as he let that flurry of punches go. Nice left jab off the back foot from Raiz. And it's a really difficult position now because standing in his own corner as straight as the corner post, he took a left hand over the top during that combination from Raiz. And we're still we're just beyond the midpoint of the final round. And again, as the body shots slam home, it's Gavri Luke who is keen to initiate a clinch. And one wonders whether he's beginning to feel the effects of these shots. Raiz... Solid punch up. And they must be beginning to take their toll because every time a shot lands now, Gavriel Luke has been keen to claim his man and hold on right on cue. The same pattern follows. His gas tank must be being tested. So too, his tolerance to discomfort and pain. So he's got to find his way through this one. Doing a good job of keeping a poker face and indeed fighting back as he fires out a southpaw right and left. But he's not working on the inside. This has been a pattern from the opening bell before the shots began to take their toll. But Raiz has been the busier boxer throughout. And Gavri Luke reduced to holding for the majority of this final round. He's 21 years of age, Raiz. As he looks to stake a claim to be the outright number one at middleweight for the Central Asian nation. Good work to the body once again. You can see the discomfort etched all over the face of Gavri Luke. That final belt coming not a moment too soon. From the perspective of the man in red, a very good performance indeed by Nurkanat Rais of Kazakhstan to control this contest. He targeted the body early and he found the mark often. Straight shots, hooks, shoe shine bursts. Never let the man from Moldova get into the contest. And Vlad Gavriluk about to be eliminated on a unanimous points verdict. Let's get the announcement, which will see Raiz progress through to the round of 16. Well, there's confirmation of a split decision victory for Nurkanat Raiz. And the ref, the American judge, must have scored the final round for the man from Moldova, which I do find surprising. If I've read that graphic correctly, she's got it 29-28 in favor of the man in red. And in the final round, he hardly landed a scoring blow because he was being worked over to the body. And when he wasn't being... When he wasn't taking punches, which were heavy and accurate, he was holding on. But nevertheless, the right man has won. A 4-1 split in his favor, and it's Raiz who goes through to the round of 16. Vlad Gavriluk, Gavriluk eliminated after his first contest here, after receiving a bye in the first round. Very good display by Raiz, and we'll see him again on the 1st of November in the afternoon session.